Well, what we learned is there are six to seven families that live near the blast zone, and their homes were affected by the concussion of that blast. And so they are now displaced, and the city is trying to figure out how to make sure that they get housing for the night and also eventually make them and the businesses near here whole. Now, as you just mentioned, the, it's, it's sort of surprising how much power that detonation had, whether it was on purpose, they detonated it on purpose. We do know that. But what we also know is there was some kind of systems failure. And so right now, the national response team for the ATF, they are arriving now to meet with LAPD and LAFT to start the post-blast investigation in the morning. We were inside minding our own business and it just shook. The Aguirres live almost a full city block away from the blast that rocked South LA Wednesday, injuring 17 and damaging cars, buildings and shattering windows. Angelique says fireworks are common in this neighborhood, but nothing like the blast that was meant to take dangerous fireworks away. We had to buy my dog pills because he would get super scared of the fireworks. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's how bad it's around here, but we wouldn't ex you wouldn't expect something like that to be happening down the block. 19-year-old Oscar Perez walked toward the scene right before the blast went off. I felt it like, it honestly, like, like one of my ears, like it started like hurting real bad, like just one, like it already calmed down. LAPD and the ATF remained on the scene overnight to figure out what happened. Police had come to this home to remove 5,000 pounds of commercial type fireworks. They also found about 10 pounds of something more like an IED or improvised explosive device. Police evacuated the area around the truck and carefully loaded the IEDs into a bomb detonation cylinder. The truck and the cylinder that held the explosives were supposed to be enough to keep the blast contained. During this detonation, control detonation, there was a catastrophic failure. It, it literally, something came apart unexpectedly. Uh, this has not happened before. It's been used for the same typical incidents in the past, and that is the big question as to why. By Thursday afternoon, the ATF confirmed the national response team was on its way. It is about 15 members and they have different expertise ranging from certified explosive specialists to explosive enforcement officers. There may be forensic chemists just depending on the scene of what's actually needed. She refused to speculate on the cause of the blast. A man in his 20s was taken into custody, accused of possession of malicious, dangerous devices. His 10-year-old brother was with him, and that might mean he'd face child endangerment charges as well. Neighbors feel the suspect endangered them all. Uh, that was, like, real dangerous, like, honestly, like, I'm guessing for him it was, like, easy money, but, like, like that's, like, really dangerous. You have children around here just playing around on the block. Why would you do, why would you make those things just to make profit off of it? And you can see that the containment truck is still on scene, ready for those investigations and the investigators to arrive and make their assessment. Now, I did talk to a detonation expert who told me that his theory, and he wouldn't go on the record with this, his theory is, is that when you put that kind of, of explosive 10 pounds of like an IED into a container, if you don't vent it properly, the gas from those explosives builds up, and then that is what caused a spontaneous detonation, but LAPD had said that they had intended to detonate it there, but something went catastrophically wrong. Reporting live at South Los Angeles, I'm Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11 News. Oh.